Alright, Okay, so who could imagine that in 1982, Pastor Peter Tanchi uh, began this uh, mission to uh, a home uh, Bible school, a uh, Bible uh, study in a small house in a small subdivision in Cain Tarsal. So they started the three couples. So, and now look at this. Look, look uh, how far uh, CCF. Uh, achieve how successful CCF now, but it's not all about CCF, it's all about God's goodness and faithfulness to CCF, right? So, to God be all the glory and honor and praise. Church, let's praise Him and let His name be exalted and lifted high because of His goodness and faithfulness. So, before we start, I would like to ask uh, Brother Arnold to lead us in opening prayer. May I ask everyone to please stand? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we begin this worship service, we just want to thank you, Lord God, for this beautiful day. Thank you for loving us unconditionally, for taking care of us day in and day out, and for providing for, for us, Lord God, faithfully, and for all the blessings, Lord God, that you've shown us. Thank you, Lord God, for your goodness and your faithfulness. Father God, we thank you also, Lord God, for all the brothers and sisters and, and families, Lord God, gathered here today, united in spirit and love, to worship you and to praise you, Lord God. Father, we ask, we ask you, Lord God, to bless our time together, bless this worship. Open our ears, Lord God, that we may hear your word, hear your voice, Lord God. Open our minds that we may understand your eternal wisdom. And open our hearts, Lord God, that we may receive your love, your wonderful love to us, Lord God. And open our spirit that we may understand your leading and guidance, Lord God, to us. Father, we give up to you also, Lord God, our, all our uh, uh, servants for today's worship. May you bless them, anoint them, Lord God, as they lead us into worship, worshiping you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for this beautiful morning, Lord God, coming worshiping you, Lord God. We trust to you the entire service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's be seated. So to help us um, to prepare ourselves for the praise and worship, I would like to ask uh, Brother Jeff. Thank you, Brother Jay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy anniversary again. Thirty-nine years. Amen. Yeah. What's next to thirty-nine? 40. <laughs> okay. All right. As we are uh, getting ready to worship the Lord this morning, uh, let me share a passage from Second Chronicles, chapter five. Uh, there's a ty typographical error over there. It should be Second Chronicles, not First Chronicles. Beginning from verse 13, it says. The trumpeters and musicians joined in unison to give praise and thanks to the Lord. Accompanied by trumpets, cymbals, and other instruments, the singers raised their voice in praise to the Lord and sang, He is good. His love endures forever. Then the temple of the Lord was filled with the cloud. And the priests could not perform their service because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the temple of God. If you were there that day, you would have probably witnessed this glorious, wonderful, grander presence of the Lord in the temple of Solomon, the first temple that was built. It was so wonderful because the temple was made with gold, 
precious stones, silver, and other valuable materials. And what a, what a wonderful feeling that would have been to worship God, having His presence in their midst. You know, today, there is something else that is more wonderful than this. You know what that is? The temple of the Lord is no longer in a structure. The temple of the Lord is us. Amen? We are the temple of the Lord. It says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, you can read there that we collectively as members of His body are being built into this structure, into this temple that uh, the Holy Spirit will dwell and reside in. And so we are so privileged, brothers and sisters, that God has chosen us to be part of His wonderful temple. And when the temple will be built, sooner or later, one of these days, Jesus Christ will return for His bride. We, the church. And so let me invite you, please stand up and let's worship the Lord together. Let's give Him praise.
That's your children worshiping you today. We think about all the things that have happened in our world. Lord, we go back to when you created this world, the power that was displayed. We thank you for your wonderful design of how you created such an amazing place. And Lord, we thank you for how you have sent Jesus to redeem us from our own sinful and wicked ways. And we worship you, Lord, for you alone are the only one that can change our lives. And we are testament, testi testifying today that you, through the power of your Holy Spirit, have impacted our lives. And so we thank you for this church, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the 39 years that you have used CCF to change our lives through the power of your Holy Spirit. And we celebrate that today, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for all the pastors, for all the different satellites, for all the COS, for all the D-group leaders in this church, and all the people that work behind the scenes. There's just so much to be thankful for, and we rejoice that you have raised men and women for such a time as this. And so we pray for them. We pray for all your people. We pray for all of us here. We know that apart from your intervention in our life, we will not be here. So thank you, Jesus. And Lord, as we continue to worship you, we pray for Pastor Peter, that you would use him mightily as he speaks to all of us as your messenger today. I pray for all of us, wherever we are, in this room, in the overflow, online. Father, may you protect us from distraction. We pray in Jesus' name that you would bind Satan and his demons from distracting our worship of you. And we pray for every aspect of the service, that as we have been worshiping you from the beginning, we will continue to worship you until the end, and that you alone will get all the glory, honor, and praise. We pray for all of this in your son's most precious name, Jesus Christ. And all of us say, Amen. Amen. I'm Morales from CCF Manila. Uh, I think she is a friend of uh, Sister Lodi. Sulani, Toronto East. Yeah. Alright, welcome. And then we have also Ross Boki. Uh, through, uh, invited by through B Bea or Beatrice. So welcome to CCF uh, Mississauga. So if there's anyone as um, a first time uh, guest in CCF Mississauga, I would like to uh, encourage you to um, write your details or your information at the back. Uh, just approach uh, Kuya Walter and Aunt Claire. Um, we would like to encourage you, uh, acknowledge you, your presence in this church. Okay? So, we would like to uh, give uh, or greet our birthday celebrant, the one and only Kuya Walter. No, why do Kuya Walter? Adi Sosani. The, uh, this coming uh, August 31 uh, is her birthday, so happy birthday, Ati Susan. So with that, I would like to uh, encourage uh, everyone to please stand and say hi to your um, brothers and sisters. Give uh, cake hands, hands, or shoulder tap while the music has been played.
next gen and elevate, you may proceed to your Sunday school class now. All right, so in life, it is inevitable that we face disappointments and problems, but we can take a more in fact that when our lives are completely in God's hands, He will support and carry us through. So church, let's prepare our hearts and minds for today's message. <laughs> why we celebrate anniversary for many people if they celebrate anniversary ang bida ay ang organization for us no ang bida is Jesus so I want to remind all of us we bring glory to him but secondly we want to remind all of us what is our mission why do we exist can you ask your neighbor Tanong mo, ano po ang mission ng CCR? Tanong mo, ano po ang mission? Sige nga, anong sagot? Pastor Bong, I want you to listen to their answer. Ano po? What is the mission of CCR? Louder! Okay, I'll give you the answer, alright? You be honest. If your answer is correct, you raise your hand. If your answer is wrong, the Bible says, Thou shalt not lie. Right? It's about our answer, our mission. To honor God and make Christ committed followers who will make Christ committed followers based on Matthew chapter 28. Who got the right answer? Raise your hand. Excuse me. Our mission, the reason why we exist, please embrace this to honor God. Ibig sabihin yan, sa bahay mo, opisina mo, sa trabaho mo, you must bring honor to God. How is your life? As you honor God, you must make Christ committed followers. Ano po ang ibig sabihin ng Christ committed followers? People don't realize in the New Testament, the word Christian is only used three times in the entire New Testament. How are we described? We are described as disciples. Disciples are committed followers of Jesus. That's why in this country, in the West, all over the world, there's a new movement. This new movement is to bring people back to basic Christianity, not as a religion. In this country, we have religion all over the place. But sad to say, maski religious po tayo, we are still top when it comes to corruption. Tama ba? How can we be a Christian nation and yet we are so corrupt? There is a disconnect. My problem po yan. How can we be a Christian nation when unwanted pregnancies Premarital sex is rampant all over the place. Something is not right. That's why CCF exists. We want to teach people, ano po ibig sabihin ng tunay na Kristiyano? Ang tunay na Kristiyano, you must follow Jesus. Say with me, follow Jesus. Are you following Jesus? Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng disciple. Question, how do you follow Jesus? And that's why we are here to help you, to equip you. How many of you are part of a small group? You are joining a small group. Please stand up. You are part of a small group. Please stand up. All right. Ayo po, tumingin kayo sa paligid ninyo. Yung mga hindi nakatayo, pakiimbita natin. I am inviting you. You see, mga lalaki, kung magandang tabi, hindi nakatayo, invite mo. <laughs> I'm inviting you to join, no, joking lang yan, okay? No, you invite those sitting down. Everybody, look around, look, look around you. Why don't you invite these people who are sitting down so that they will join your small group? Is that okay with you? Those who are sitting down, do you mind if they invite you to join their D group? Yes or no? Okay, huh? 
para mí, ¿sabes? ¿eh? All right, everybody. Next time I see you, I ask you, are you part of a small group? Those of you who are sitting down, what will you do? Stand up, okay? Oh no, yeah, stand up. Can I tell you why? You will not grow spiritually if you are not part of a small group. It's hard to grow. There's no lone ranger. You know, she's here, it's big. But the bigger we become, the smaller we also become. That's why we have thousands in the Philippines alone. We have 16,000 small groups. I want to be part of that group, okay? Thank you. Please sit down. So, you have to love him, love him. Um, follow his commandments, follow his ways. In the second, decide to please him, obey him, submit yourself to him, to his will. And then last, depend on him. Your faith pleases God. So problems are inevitable. How you respond determines whether you become better or bitter. So my fear, you know what my fear is right now, is the man who I will become if I am successful. That's why I pray to God that He will only give me that is enough. Not too much that I will, I will forget Him. Not too less that I may question His power and authority. Just enough that I will always call His name forever. So I pray that He will continue to change my heart through problems and trials. So I will totally depend on Him alone. Success is not bad, right? So nothing wrong with it successful in career relationship or even in ministry in our mission to share the good news and make disciples those are we are aiming for we all want to be successful in life success is one of the reasons of people's destruction it will destroy life you know why it is because the moment success is already achieved pride will sit in our heart will be hardened, then if pride sits in, that's the moment you will forget God's goodness and faithfulness. So church, where is your heart anchored? Where is your life anchored? Identify your idols in your life that is taking or will take the place of God. God wants your heart. Devote your heart to God. So I'll just make it, I'll make a quick um, announcement. So after this, uh, we will be having a breakout discussion questions session. I mean, so for B1G, I will be leading the singles, and then for young couples, brother Mark will be leading them, and then anniversary 39 years of God's faithfulness over this year. Let me give you guys a clap of applause for that. So, some uh, couple of announcements. So, would you like to grow as a Christian? Participate in the discipleship program. So, we encourage, we invite everyone. Father, we thank you for the wonderful service today. Thank you for the life of Pastor Peter Panchi for using him as a channel of blessing to us this morning. We pray that he protect us and guide us today and for this coming day. Teach us to devote our heart to you, Lord, and bless our family, bless our job, bless every family and members of CCL. Continue to protect us. We acknowledge that without you, we can do nothing but you are the source of everything. You said in your words, you will never leave us, nor forsake us. We are your children. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us, comforting us. Thank you for your promise that you will supply our needs according to his riches and glory in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We give you honor. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.